Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hi everyone, this is Aram Tadipali. Welcome to my channel Tech and Life. I hope you enjoyed the last video on driver drowsiness detection system using artificial intelligence and computer vision. In this video, I am going to demonstrate one simple project that is on uh, predicting uh, fake review system using classification methodologies and uh, natural language processing NLP. So in this video I am going to demonstrate that uh, using different uh, classification methodologies like SVM, random forest, decision trees etc. But before that we need to identify, we need to understand what's the purpose of identifying a model which can predict uh, fake reviews. Uh, we used to purchase uh, products on online uh, Flipkart, Amazon, eBay like that but uh, we first of all we go for reviews of that product whether it is good or not. Uh, for example, I purchased mic and a tripod stand for my YouTube channel and I used to check uh, reviews regularly on those pro uh, products before purchasing. So I used to check uh, reviews on different platforms on same product so that I can get uh, idea on that product whether it will be very good for me or not. In the same way, uh, some of the users uh, may give a negative response to a positive product which is a good product. Uh, some people may give a positive response for uh, not, um, not a better quality product. Like this, we have some fake reviews on social media which affects the business of a product or a course so using this kind of methodology because of this kind of problems uh, so many business uh, anal analytics uh, people are analyzing that what are the ways uh, to predict fake reviews for their products so in this video I am going to present a sample demonstration on fake review system using a python programming language as the base and uh, moreover while doing these kind of sentimental analysis using uh, artificial intelligence or natural language processing we need to gather the language positive and negative keywords which will be available in NLTK corpus so that you have to download that and uh, based on those words and uh, based on your data set uh, we need to work on this video. So, so this let's get start uh, the session on my laptop. Hey guys, as I mentioned in the introduction, I'm going to demonstrate one sample uh, application using uh, natural language processing and uh, machine learning models, machine learning algorithms. And I'm considering a re restaurant reviews data set like this it's a tsv format uh, data set tabular separated value and uh, it contains two features first one is reviews and other one is liked whenever uh, liked mentioned with one that means review is a positive one whenever like mentioned with zero that means review is a negative one so we are going to analyze we are going to implement uh, a prediction model like uh, svm random forest decision trees anything any one prediction model now on this data set first of all we need to clean the data for that purpose we need to use uh, one programming language I am, I am using python and to write python code i am using jupyter notebook idlv and i am going to jupyter notebook now click on start menu and type jupyter notebook it shows like this and click on enter it will navigate uh, to Jupyter notebook using this command line interface and uh, it will open in local host on the browser like this so first of all you can see how many codes are available and uh, six type of uh, modeling mechanisms are used in individual formats in individual files in ipynb file ipython notebook files and first of all i am going to demonstrate only svm in this video so let's start with analyzing the code which i wrote and first of all we need to import the libraries for that purpose we are using these two lines as the base syntaxes for uh, importing the libraries and click on uh, control and enter after selecting this entire code cell and control and enter 
so it will process process and it completed uh, its processing and next we need to import the data set for that purpose select the entire cell and click on control and enter so it also processed there is no error now because uh, everything uh, is under uh, same folder so it will not show any error and uh, next comes the step cleaning the data for that purpose we need to import the regular expressions and uh, we need to import nltk natural language toolkit which is a very important library whenever we are using uh, natural language processing mechanisms or models in our uh, prediction mechanisms so we need to import nltk and first of all we need to download these stop words from nltk this is the very big process and for that purpose uh, we need to write this kind of code using some regular expressions and we need to split we need to identify lower and uh, everything uh, stem words everything we need to analyze here using this code and uh, select entire code and click on control plus enter so if you observe here python 3 and there is a bubble black bubble here that means this code cell is being processed I mean, whenever, whenever it become white again that means that code cell execution completed so i downloaded the packages stop words to this path and package stop words is already up to date so I already implemented this stop words package and completed the processing so now, next we need to split the data into try and test so the best practice is a test for 20 percent of a data set is being used for a test case test cases that i mean testing the data set and remaining 80 percent to train the data set so for example our data set contain, contains 100 features that means 80 percent of the data set means 80 entries will be used for trying the model and remaining 20 will be using for testing the model so click on control and enter by selecting the cell so it processed now fitting svm to the training set as we use x train and y train we need to fit that model on the data set on the training set for that purpose from scikit-learn.svm import svc and we need to use this syntax for identifying i mean fitting svm to the training set so click on control and enter to process that syntax so it's processing here it completed so predicting the test results we need to predict the text results and uh, using this code ypred classifier because classifier is uh, as a variable where svc allotted some functionality some result to the classifier so we need to use that classifier to predict that test cases so ypred is a other variable and uh, we are assigning that uh, classifier dot predict of uh, x test result to the ypred using this syntax so this is the process we are using and uh, making a confusion matrix for every prediction model we need to have a ground truth further purpose we are using confusion matrix and click on control and enter and uh, it will show this kind of parameters uh, true positive true negative false positive false negative we all know about confusion confusion matrix so no need to explain uh, this right now so this comes the end of the code where we can get accuracy of that uh, prediction model so first of all we are identifying the confusion matrix results and based on we are identifying accuracy precision recall and f1 score so how to do that round of for, for example accuracy formula is here true positive plus true negative whole divided by true positive plus true negative plus false positive plus false negative so every value here these values will be substituted in this formula and like this and rounding the result like this we need to perform all these four things accuracy precision recall and f1 score we need to print like this that means svm is giving 72 percentage of accuracy using the data set 
restaurant review system so this is a, a sample implementation of a natural language processing understanding the insights of every review and analyzing uh, which review is genuine one and which review is uh, not genuine one and we are trying to analyze with uh, support vector machine in this video but i am going to give you a sample glimpse of every prediction model i'm i used uh, and uh, here comes to random forest uh, it gave 72 percent accuracy and uh, navy base uh, it gives 73 percent logistic regression it's giving 71 percent accuracy and uh, k nearest neighbors uh, it gave 61 percent accuracy and uh, last one decision trees and it gave 71 percent accuracy that means SPM and uh, random forest gave 72% uh, accuracy which is uh, highest among these six uh, prediction models I used. So I hope you understand the implementation mechanism, implementation procedure of uh, fake review identification using uh, classification methodologies with the Python programming and I hope you like the video please please subscribe to my channel tech and life and like the video share the video please press the bell icon it will be very helpful for me thank you this is the procedure of identifying any fake review so i hope you enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to my channel tech and life please like the video share the video and please post your comments below in the comment box and i will try to make videos on your suggestions and uh, please subscribe to my channel, Check in Life. Please press the bell icon. Thank you.